hey hello creators please subscribe or like if you are not subscribed yet this video or in this video we are going to to, to find the end term or the general formula for this sequence if you check the previous one which i recommend if you didn't watch it please go then check how we came up with these next two terms okay how to find the next two terms that was an idea that was an idea uh, of the first video but now these are the basic questions they normally ask before they get more tricky so it's very important to know this as foundation because sometimes they give you these free marks so it's very important to check so please subscribe for more now let's go for how to find uh, what how to find the end term so end term what do you need you need to remember the the, 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 the format okay because it's not there in the formula sheet you you need to remember the format uh, of the end term we have t n equal to a n squared plus b n plus c this is the format this is the format that you need all you need you need to find the value of a the value of b and the value of c and then after finding them then you come back to this format remember this is a quadratic uh, standard form so you come back and then you put the value of a the value of b and the value of c that's all you do but now the question how to find the value of a how to find the value of b how to find the value of c well now looking at the at, at the what looking at this pattern we already we already found we already found what uh, the difference the first difference the second difference now the value of a you you determine the value of a let me do it like this you determine the value of a using this these formula these small formulas are not there in the formula sheet so it's very important to 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 memorize them and be able to apply them okay in any any kind or tricky situation so let me show you this. now this is a constant difference okay the value of a you use the constant difference okay you use the second difference which is the constant difference of of of, of the second row or which is the first difference of the first uh, quadratic equation okay not equation sequence sorry and then now you say 2a equal to the first value why why am i emphasizing this it's because we are having this is a coincidence now we are we are having four here we are having four here so i want to emphasize which four are, are, are we using here this is the constant 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 uh constant difference okay it's the one that we are using this four so it's the first one you use the first terms you use the first terms of this actually it's four four two we are going to use to find a you use four to find b you use the second four which is from the second row and then for to find c you use that two it's very important to note that so then here then you solve for you solve for a so we have two divided by two both side we are great 12 four now you know this stuff so two divided by two divided by four I mean, sorry, 4 divided by 2 is going to be 2. So now we have the value of A. How are we going to find B? So we need the value of A as well. Okay, how? We have 3A plus B equal to, remember, I said for B, we are going to use this. But now this is the 4 from the second row, from the first difference. Okay, you use the you, you take the first term, not eight, not twelve, but the first term, which is four in this case. So we have four. Remember, now we know the value of a. So which means we'll have what? We'll have three. In the space of a, you put two plus b equal to four. Okay, now you have to simplify this now three times two this is going to be six plus b equal to four now you have to solve for this b you have to take that 
six i have to do all these steps so you understand so remember when you take all the time when you take uh, a number or a term from one side of the equal sign to the other side what you do the sign will change this one the six is positive six here now will be negative six this side so when you simplify this what you get four minus six this is negative two okay now to find the c we are going to need the value of a the value of b and the value of the first term okay which is two in this case okay two we are going to need that two but how are we going to find a i'm sorry how how are we going to find c so we are going to say a plus b plus c remember i said the first term of the given of the given given what given sequence and then is what is true so now we already know we already know the value of a which is what which is uh two we know the value of b is minus two now we are looking for what for c and looking at this like two minus two this will like cancel each other then we have c as equal to two this is very strange <laughs> it's very strange and now you have to remember we have to remember our format let me just put it here we have tn okay tn is equal to now the value of a is two you just put this two here and squared the value of b is negative two so you put negative two n and then c is positive two which is plus two now this is what this is the end term this is how you find end term most of the time these que these questions use will be four marks five marks if you are lucky but most of the time it's going to give you four marks okay so you know how to find the next two terms now you know how to find the end term mm, that's more like five marks okay over 100 that's five percent mm, we, are, we are covered we are covered now let's check the second one. Oh, my paper is getting messy here so let's check the second one this is the second row this i'm sorry this is the second what second sequence okay like i said we are going to use this uh, to find the next terms now so, okay not to find the next term to find what to find the end term or general formula of this then like i said how to get this one done what do what do we need to remember here we need to remember the following okay you need to remember the following you need to remember the general formula that we are going to use we are going to use n okay t n a squared plus b n plus c you see we have this three or uh, this format now like i said all you need you need the value of a the value of b and the value of c all right and then from here the question again how to find the value of a b c okay for you to find a you are going to use this one this one again is not there in your uh, the formula sheet so you need to know this by your head but not by just your head you need to know you need to practice it until you get it right most of the time so we say 2a is equal to it's equal to the the constant difference let's go back there the second constant difference which is which is the old no let me just say the the constant we only have this as a constant so it's true okay you use the first one okay actually we use these terms these are the terms we are using here okay it's two five and four these are the first uh terms we are using from the, the third row from the second row from the first what to call the third row second and the first one okay so we have 2a is equal to 2 which is the constant difference it's 2 then you're solving for a you divide by 2 divide by 2 this will give us a as 1 done a is 1 how to find b you say 3a plus b equal to the second well, let's go to the second row 
The second row is 5. Can you see that? So we take the first term, which is 5. Now we know the value of a. So it's 3 into 1 plus b equal to 5. Now simplifying this, this is giving us 3 plus b, which is equal to 5. Now we have to solve for b. So how, like, I, like earlier, I said, all the time when we are taking a term from the other side of the equal sign to the other side, we always change the sign. So it's 5. This was positive 3. Now it's going to be negative 3. So, and then what do we have? 5 minus 2, this is going to give us 2. Can you see that? But now the question, how to find C? We need C. So to find the C, you, we are going to need the value of A, the value of B, and the first term of the first sequence, oh, I mean, sorry, of the first row, or the one that is given, okay? And in this case, the first term of the first, or, or the given sequence is what? Is two, I mean, sorry, is four, okay, is four, this is four. Then, how are we going to use this? We say, the value of A plus the value of B plus the value of C is equal to the first term of the given sequence, which is 4 in this case. So you put 4 here. Now this is 1 plus 2 plus C equal to 4. Now when you see, remember this is 3, right? Okay, maybe let me do it. Let me just do it because I know, I know, I know. This is 3, right? 4. Now, in this case, you take this 3 to the other side. Remember, the sign will change into negative. Okay, now I'm continuing it here. Let's continue here. Now we have C equal to 4 minus 3, which is giving us 4 minus 3 is 1. This is how you find, this is how you find what? You find C, all right? If you don't understand, please just reverse, start afresh, okay? Now, let's, let's plug these values here, because that was the key, right? After finding these values, you just plug them in there. Okay, T and A will be 1. I'll just put it here as a simplified one. A is 1, and when you put 1 here, 1 times N will be N squared. Here, 1 times n squared would be n squared. B is positive 2. Okay, so we say plus 2n. So C is 1, remember. So plus 1. So this is what? This is, uh, this is what? N term of this sequence. So we are done. So the next version, the next version the next version will be looking at how to find let's say we are given a specific term oh sorry let me say we are let me say we are given uh the specific uh specific what let me say we are given uh, a specific position maybe let's say find maybe they say find the 20th term they say uh, find seventh term. They say find eleventh term. That's how we are going to do next. Okay, just for now, please. If you find this, if if, if you found this video so helpful, please like. And guys, I do have uh, uh, also I do have a TikTok account. You can go there, follow, and then just try to share this if possible. You like, you comment, and let me know what you want to see next. So. We can keep helping each other. Okay, thanks for now. Please subscribe if you are not subscribed yet.